Good morning, folks. We've got amazing news stories today with widespread implications, plus the best possible way to help the community right now. Let's run it down, starting at spaceweathernews.com and finding the last 24 hours on our star were silent. We do have the southern coronal hole swinging through. The IMF began an earthquake watch last night that does continue through tomorrow. No sunspots and no solar flares, and the solar wind remains in calm range with a bit lower intensity. Geomagnetic conditions continue their romp through calm green pastures. Folks, we did see a little tornado drop in Texas yesterday, but the real story was to the north. Snow records have indeed continued to fall with at least one more winter storm event on the way for some. Late season and annual totals dropping now. And that leads us into our first story. Weather Channel and Associated Scientists declare that the Great Lakes ice is disappearing, shrinking, and their evidence is this data set here showing a decreasing trend since the 1970s. But cherry pick wherever you want. You could say it's been increasing rapidly since 2002, and that the highest overall ice year, actually the top two years combined as well, occurred in the last five years. It's all about the start date. Speaking of ice and surprising trends, the most comprehensive study of ice mass in western Antarctica has shown that the modest drop seen in the 1800s was reversed over the last 110 years, to the tune of nearly a three times greater increase in ice mass, dwarfing and smashing past the peripheral ice losses into the southern seas and dumbfounding climate scientists. Let's take a quick breather from the punches here to see something beautiful. This is Hubble's shot of M75, and it is one of the more gorgeous clusters in the Messier catalog. Let's go to Fermi. Total search for dark matter interactions and annihilations has produced exactly what you'd expect. Absolutely nothing. Folks, either climate scientists are trying to covertly change the discourse, or they have no clue how drastically they're undermining global warming propaganda. The heating of the mesosphere during geomagnetic storms transfers down as both direct heat and as joule energy in the global electric circuit, then returns to normal after equalizing the charge potential or plasma pressure. The issue is that the region there is supposed to be the UV access point for heating the Earth. It's just supposed to be UV. And beyond the extra heating element not currently in the climate models for the mesosphere, it does, again, transfer that energy directly down through the atmosphere. One of the things cosmic energy does, in addition to creating clouds and hail condensation nuclei, is trigger lightning. Folks, there's an entire chapter of space weather-driven lightning in our book, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, and it's all real. One 300-level class just finished that chapter on Friday. Folks, I wanted to share something super cool here. A new patent by the U.S. Navy not only discusses one of their UFO technologies, but claims it is plasma universe science. Yesterday, we did a deeper look on the patent and the technology, which is ultra cool, no doubt, but is indeed most important because the Navy has joined NASA and the national labs at Princeton, Caltech, and Berkeley saying this is a plasma universe. Now, you want to do something helpful? We know Ferris is in the top 100 in the Google World Science Championships, and his video presentation is now posted. Folks, this is the time. Watch and like the video, share it on social media, and please, please leave the conspiratalk and government fraud discussions away from this. Positive and cheering on comments only. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.40 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.